Can you guess what I'm building? Oh wait, no, you probably read the video description. Okay, let's just cut that intro. Hey everyone, how's it going? So, yes, I am doing my own AMD Epic CPU Miner build. I already got, over here, in my 24U, I got two AMD Epics, but they're for server use, not for CPU mining. This is going to be my first AMD Epic CPU Miner build, and we are using the AMD Epic 7742 CPU. Slightly used, finally under $1,000 for these things used on eBay. $936. We've got 64 gigs of single rank, 8 gig DDR4 3200 MHz stems. I should have gotten dual rank, single rank will still work. Dual rank supposedly gives you a few more percent in hash rate, but ah, oh well, they were cheap. The motherboard I actually ordered from the guy in China. He's a very reputable one. I can't think off the top of my head who it was. Uh, TGUM, whatever it is. The guy, I dealt with him before. He's good. I ordered an Supermicro H11 SSL board, but they were currently out of him. And I paid 366 I believe, for that board. So he asked me, can he upgrade me up to the ASRock Rack Epic D8? Right there. And I was like, yeah, sure, go for it. I mean, this is for a CPU miner. I'm never going to use the, um, oh, God, what the heck were these ports for? They're basically the new version of SAS, but they're PCIe. Uh, Oculink. I am not using the Oculink on this at all. I probably won't be using most of these ports. I just need the CPU, the RAM. Um, VRMs, we got to make sure we're cooling. For the power supply, I got that used off of eBay for $60. An EVGA 750G2. 80 plus gold power supply. More than enough to run a single um, Epic. Oh my god, brain fart. <laughs> At like 225 to 280 watts if we can play with the bio settings on this. And to cool it, I am using an Arctic Cooler Freezer 4UM. This should be interesting. And the rack that's underneath here is one of those $20, $30 racks. They can just put the motherboard, the power supply over. This was graciously donated by Rondi. Thank you, bro. I'm putting it to use finally. Thank you very much. So without further ado, let's get the build on. And that's the basic build. We got the power supply off to the side here. All you need is the motherboard and the CPU power. That's all we need for this rig. The cooler itself, I, instead of having it blow this way like you normally would on a server motherboard, I have it blowing this way because this might be a little restrictive in the back. Plus, at the same time, this will blow air over these VRMs and help keep them cool. Even though this is blowing warm air, I'm sure it will be. It will still keep these VRMs a little cooler. Got all eight sticks of RAM in there. And we got ourselves a 128 gig little shorty NVMe drive for boot. We're going to do Hive OS for the time being. I may try Rainbow Miner because there's plenty in the DGen community that just keep egging me on to try Rainbow Miner. Not for this video. Let's just get it up, test it, make sure it works. So let's get this plugged in, see if we can get into the BMC or IPMI and get this booted up into Hive OS. Okay, so after hours of testing to figure out what the heck is going on here, finally figured it out. This is my old 7551P CPU. This is a Naples CPU. Works perfectly fine in this system. Boots up. Uh, with the 7442 CPU that's in here. Apparently this is vendor locked to Dell and it was never said so in the eBay listing. I triple checked. This was just a regular tested perfectly good CPU. Well, when the motherboard comes up and gets stuck on a 22, apparently from all my Google searches, that means this is a vendor locked CPU, most likely either to Dell or Lenovo. So now I need to go and argue with the eBay seller, send this back to him, get my money back and get 
a unlocked 7442 CPU. Okay, so a bit of a story time. It's been a few weeks since the last part of that recording. You want to know how I can prove that? Real easy. Remember in the last clip I had a nice scratch on my arm or my hand? Yeah, it's healed now. It's been a few weeks. So, I did get my money back for the vendor lock 7442. And then I went and said, screw it, I want to get it fast. I paid net, tried to pay $1,200 for 7v12 cpu which is basically like a 7442 but it was an oem only uh same thing 64 core 128 threads but it had a much higher tdp instead of like 200 or 220 whatever the 7442 is this is either 240 or 280 i can't remember exactly which one and it has a higher base frequency so this will be even better so I ordered it off um, Amazon. Sorry, I ordered it off of Amazon for $1,200. And the seller shipped it perfectly fine. One day, he shipped it. It made itself to Atlanta, Georgia via UPS, and UPS promptly lost it. Took me two weeks fighting with Amazon to get my money back for that. Then I finally ordered another 7V12 from China through eBay. That finally came through. So I now finally have a 7v12 let's go ahead and install this and see what happens so this has been running for basically two days right now with zero issues whatsoever perfectly mining varus coin on hive os running hell miner um booted two days ago minor uptime one day 15 hours all 128 threads and they're only 45 degrees C, the whole thing. I love this heatsink. It's quiet. It's on 100% and it's not even loud. That fan, that fan is actually even louder than this. This is great. I can feel the heat coming off it and it's not that bad. Now, if we scroll down a little bit just for verification, hopefully we see this is the Epic D8 ASRock Rack motherboard, 128 times AMD Epic 7V1260 core, 64 core processor with AES instructions. Everything's great. Oh, 44C now, <laughs> even better. I put my hand in front of it, it cooled down for a second. What the heck? But regardless, this build is done. It's great. It's going out into the crypto shed and you guys will actually see the crypto shed in a few weeks because it's becoming springtime. I need to get ready and get it cleaned up for when all the pollen hits, so then I can clean up after the pollen. It's just part of having a mining shed. There's no reason trying to put HEPA filters or crazy filters on it. It's easier just let the dust get in there, blow it out, keep mining. So with that being said, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take it easy.